hi guys my name is liz welcome to back to my channel welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before i'm a single mom i just moved about a week ago well actually um bubba excuse me sir now i have to pull over let's pull into shriners real quick let's pull into the good old shriners children hospital i don't know you guys know what shriners are I, I'm just curious. Mommy, I won't go down that right now. Laura, Tom, go up <laughs> this isn't that type of video. The front is yeah. Get on back there, boy. Get on back there, boy. So I went to go drop Baba off at school and we pulled up and we just had a few more minutes until 8.30 because you can't call them and they don't come out and get them until we're at 8.30. So... He was like mentioning that he had to use the bathroom and I was like, okay, hold on, let me call them and you know, maybe they'll let, it, let him come in earlier. I can pick him in. And then by the time I got on the phone, he already had an accident back there. So I had to take care of that situation. So I had to go into school and they gave me his extra clothes that were in there. And guys, I need to buy more clothes for Bubba, like warmer clothes. Now me and Amora are on our way home to do some stuff and guys the bedroom situation you know is evolving into a different situation now um bubba is going to be in that bedroom in the smaller bedroom by himself and i will get a king size bed for the other bedroom as for my bed i'm thinking about getting rid of it and guys i I didn't want to originally. I didn't want to because I do like that bed, but um, I've been thinking about it and I think that it might be a good idea because it is really high off the ground and it makes me nervous sometimes that Amora is gonna fall off of there. And also because, um, you know, second of all, it was me and Jorge's bed, you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I don't need that. The only reason why I really like it is because it has those drawers in it and it like all has all that storage, you know what I mean? Like that is that is the nice part about it. And um, if I could convince the girls like to just share that bed, but see the problem is like Sophie will come lay down with me in the middle of the night and you know they like to cuddle with mommy you know what I mean say uh, Sophie gets up in the middle of the night and and falls asleep with me and then Mariah gets up in the morning and sees that Sophie's in my bed or sleeping with me she causes a whole problem about it and no matter how much I express to these kids that can you like I don't know what else to do like I keep telling them like please do not do that Mariah you're 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 growing up like why are you causing a problem over this like <sighs> so guys i just don't know what to do sometimes and i don't know whether i should stand my ground and be like you know no like but then but then i have to like ha wake up to like misery and bad vibes with mariah like you know because that will trigger me first thing in the morning if somebody comes at me with some negative crap first thing in the morning that is not that i don't like that that doesn't work out good for me and it's hard for it's hard for me to pull myself out of that um that's why you know jorge was so toxic to me honestly because there were so many times that i would have to pull myself out of that like rut of just like uh, like icky feeling um yeah <laughs> i don't know why my eyes are like itching but what are you doing over there so Amora has all these toys that she can play with over here, but she wants to be over there messing around in the crack of this door where you ain't supposed to be. Get up over here, girl. Ugh. Girl, like you got toys to play with. Yeah, there's a baby. There's a baby. There's a baby. Say baby. Get back over here. Girl, girl, you better get out of that crack. Girl, you better get out of that crack. I gotta cover that. I gotta cover that. I gotta cover that. Girl. Girl. What you doing, huh? Huh? Oh, you got a Barbie? Uh -huh. That's cute. That's cute. You got a little Barbie? Oh, she's pretty. Not as pretty as you, though. You're gorgeous. 
my little star. My little Amora star. Yeah, my little Bob star. So guys, we are on our way to the <laughs> Guys, I was just trying to show you this beautiful sunset and I don't even think I was recording. So hold on a minute. Let's go check this out, guys. Let's go check this out. The sky looks pink like cotton candies. Amora, is she laughing or crying? <laughs> <laughs> Baba, <laughs> wow! So we like kind of just missed it, but that's all right. It's still pretty. It's still really pretty. Okay, so guys, we're eating. We just got Chick Fil A. All right, guys. Oh my goodness. You still got some more. Amora is eating her Chick-fil-A. What? Fire drill. Put on fire, fire drill. drill. Bubba's oh. telling me to put on... Bubba likes that song. Did you guys know he that? Does? Yeah. He, he he just asked to, me to put it on. Hmm. He, when he saw it on there, he said fire drill. And he pointed to it. Let me get some Polynesian. Fine. Let me get some... Pol she said, let me get some Polynesian. Let me get some Polynesian. Sorry, my bad. That was probably a little ridiculous, but. Uh uh. Never mind. I'm a girl. We're doing some chicken. Guys, I go to take a bite and pick up the littlest, tiniest crumb of a fry. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> okay, Amora, Amora needs more. Amora needs more. Girl, where are you going? Someone's going. Oh, Bubba's trying to save you. Yay. <laughs> he was like. He was trying to save you, but he was still eating his chicken nugget at the same time. He's more I thought about the chicken nugget. <laughs> How's the Chick-fil-A? Okay. But I could literally eat the sauce, like, literally by Ew, no, like... that's gross. Ew, no, ew. <laughs> hey, Baba, Baba. He just gave him more a kiss, and it was really cute. I don't think he's going to do it again, though, but it was cute, though. <laughs> I don't think that goes in there, but it fits in there. So here's a little time lapse. Um, I was sweeping and mopping the floor. And Bubba was playing. Oh my gosh, I knew I was gonna yawn during this, sheesh. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Bubba was like taking that apart, putting it together, and Amora was just bouncing and playing her little thing. And I mopped the floor and guys, you know, it's, you know, if you guys have kids, you know, it's like kind of hard to mop the floor. It's, you know, it's kind of a struggle to get the floor mopped when there's like a bunch of kids like running around. Um, you know, it's a little difficult, but we got it done. We got the job done. So guys, um, me and the girls are out here. It's dark, so you can't really see us that well, but we're out here in the living room. Bubba and Amora are asleep. Amora's in her crib and, um, Bubba is in his bed sleeping and uh, me and the girls are out here in the living room on the mattress on my mattress and um, I'm planning on taking my bed apart tomorrow morning because I'm going to sell it um, Mom, and get a king size bed so I'm getting a king size bed so that um, I can finally put an end to um, the fighting at night about who's gonna sleep with who and who's not gonna cuddle with mom and blah 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 so basically that's what we're doing guys okay so um so life is good and um stay blessed mariah can you sleep on the recliner i have no pillow mm. good morning all right guys so i just got up um i did not sleep good last night at all at all but I'm going to get in the shower. It's like 6. I don't know if I said that, but I'm getting in the shower. <laughs> good morning, Papa. Papa's the first one awake. Hi, honey bunny. Do you sleep good? Go on, Bob. Take the break. No, no, no bus today. I'm going to take you to school. Okay? And then your dad's going to pick you up. Bob, take the break. You're going to start riding a... No, you're going to start riding a, a, a van pretty soon. They're going to come pick you up. But today I'm going to drive you, okay? I'll keep you updated. Rise and shine, sunshine. Rise and shine, sunshine. Wake up, Furby. I don't know, guys. 
But I just found this coin. Come on. So put one of these jackets on, please. There's a million of them here. Hey, Mariah. Grab that hoodie for her. You guys come in. So I'm just waiting for Bubba's teacher to come out and get Bubba. Um, he's all ready to go into school, right? Is he going up? Huh? Is he going up? Is he going up? It doesn't move, though. It, it don't. Just, just leave it, boy. Oh, oh, Bubba, oh, Bubba's teacher's there. Hold up, hold up. Whoa, whoa. You must be out your mind, boy. Please pick that up. Pick that up and put it back in the van. Thank you. Nice job. Yeah, thank you. Let's brush, let's brush you off. Here. Jeez. So that made me so sick. So somebody was like, somebody must have been stopped at that corner out there, and they must have been smoking a cigarette because I can literally smell the 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 smoke. I can smell the secondhand smoke in here, and it gave me a headache and made me feel sick and everything. Dude, that is so toxic. That is bad. So guys. Amor's asleep. I'm gonna take apart this bed. I might go live. I might go live. As you guys can see, this is how it looks. Guys, I love this apartment because for a lot of reasons. Because um, it's cute, first of all. It's cozy. And I love that it's so bright in here. Like, the lighting is very nice. Especially for recording. You know what I mean? Guys, so I'm about to hang this painting. I like that. I know everything else looks chaotic, but just trust the process, guys. Just trust the process. <laughs> So guys, me and Amor are about to go and get something to eat. I've been waiting for my food stamps. I don't know. I guess I'm not getting them. I put a call into the social worker and I don't know. I just got to wait. But me and Amor are going to go get some food. I just stopped at the house, um, the old apartment, and um, just to see if there was any mail in a package. And there was just some junk mail and um, an Amazon package. So I'm going to open it up. So guys, um, this is stuff from Karen Reese, one of our subscribers. She's been following us for a while. She um, was following us on us on uh, TikTok, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but um, now she's obviously my subscriber on YouTube. And um, she bought this little jacket for Amora off the wish list. And then there's something else here too that looks really cute. I think it's pajamas or something, but um, I'm gonna open this stuff up when we get home because me and Amora are gonna go get something to eat and then go home. So me and Amora stopped at Sheets, and um, oh, oh, you got the oh, you got the napkins. Oh, uh, girl, oh my, <sighs> gosh, she was waving them around so quick I couldn't even catch them. <laughs> girl, so um, we got a grilled cheese. We've been slaves to this love. From the moment we touched And keep begging for more Of this resurrection So I came up with an idea, guys The point of the story is If you listen to other people's opinions it's I just to took this bed apart, guys Putting it in Bubba's room for now Momentarily so guys, I have an idea, and maybe this will work instead of getting a king size bed. Maybe I could put the queen size mattress and the full size mattress together and create one large bed. That's what we're gonna try to do right now, guys. All right, I'm just cleaning up all this dust. All right, this is crazy. Um, the amount of dust that can pile up in just a matter of what? A week? That's a lot of dust, guys. This is really irking my OCD nerve. I do not like dust in my home. All right, guys? I, I don't know. It's just one of my things, one of my pet peeves. I don't like dust. I don't care if you got dust in your house. I wouldn't be mad if I go into your house and there's dust, but in my house, I don't want there to be dust. Right, Amora? You gotta keep the dust free up in here, huh? Especially since you crawl all over the ground, huh? Hey, what are you doing? 
So I got this idea that I'm gonna put both mattresses in here, the full one and the queen, and put them both together and create one big bed. So we're gonna see if that works, guys. And um, I just realized that I probably could have um, thought this through a little bit better um, because what happened was I just took apart the bed and put it um, right there. And the mattress that I need is actually right there. And then I came over here and I'm like, oh, well, I can get this mattress. And then I'm like, oh, well, I kind of put stuff in front of that one too. But um, that's all right. That's all good. It, that's fine. That's fine. That's, that's not a problem. Is that a problem? Yeah, that's not a problem, guys. Please. So I moved everything out of the way, got both mattresses in there. They ended up fitting right next to each other. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. Not 100% happy. I don't know. So we got this stuff in the mail today from our Amazon wish list. And um, Karen, thank you, Karen Reese. She sent this stuff and she picked this one out for a more, which is so pretty and adorable little unicorns. Aww. Wow, so she looks so adorable in this. She's very happy. Yeah, that looks very warm and fuzzy and cute. It's got the little ears. Oh my goodness. You are just so pretty. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah. Me and Amora are probably gonna go for a ride. Earlier I was gonna go to Cauldron and Thorn um, after we ate at Sheets, but then she ended up pooping and so we came right back here and then by the time we got all everything, by the time I was ready to go out again, they were about to close and the post office was about to close. So I'm like, you know what? I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, but guys, I literally have like no food here. I've been waiting for my food stamps, which thank you God. The welfare office called me and said that I should have them tomorrow. So that would be wonderful because I literally don't have any food here, guys. Like, yes, I've been feeding my kids, obviously, but um, I need to go grocery shopping <laughs> real bad. So I'm hungry right now. So I think we're just going to go get something to eat. Um, hi, pretty. So, guys, it's 7.08. I'm here. Um... So I'm at Arby's. I'm leaving Arby's. I just got some food for me and Amora. So um, I'm excited to go check the P.O. Box tomorrow because one of you guys, and now I forget who, who it was, but somebody told me to go check um, the P.O. Box and um, they closed at six. So I didn't have enough time today, but tomorrow, best believe I'm gonna be over there. And um, thank you. You know, I've been just thinking about the whole bed situation. Guys, I literally, th th see, this is what OCD does, does to people okay uh, it, and OCD if you guys don't know it stands for obsessive compulsive disorder okay so it has to do with obsessing over things okay <laughs> and it's not fun literally um but like I said it can be a blessing and a curse because you know keeping your area clean and all that stuff like can be good like for your mind and for just like peace and you know all that but having to obsess over it like is not fun so you know that's why i say it's a blessing and a curse so there's pros and cons to it but um i just want to get home and eat and i don't like that it gets early, dark this early this time of year is always this is my least favorite time of year guys i feel like it's totally unnatural i i i believe that i belong in a tropical region guys okay <laughs> i just do i was born in florida and um that's where i was born and honestly i think that's where i should be living because i can't stand the winter up here in erie pa i love erie but this time of year when it's all dark when it gets dark early like it feels like it and it's only 7 10. <sighs> gotta call the kids and see how their day was so the bed situation you know i think i figured something out but I don't think it's gonna work so i don't know guys we'll see i took the bed apart though well as you guys can see and i put both the beds together I put both the other mattresses together but and they fit like perfectly but the only problem is the one side of it is right up against the heater so i don't know guys i just keep moving stuff around and moving stuff around and moving stuff around i'm never satisfied okay guys i'm constantly moving stuff around 
This is why I think I belong in an RV. <laughs> I swear, guys, this is really why I think I belong in an RV because I can't even decide where I want to put things. And why are my eyes like watering? What the hell? Like, what is this? I'm getting like pollution in my eyes or something. What the fuck? Dude. And guys, just so you know, I, I keep accidentally going to the other apartment, like accidentally going towards the other apartment. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I don't mean to do that. And sometimes I even when I'm not paying attention, like when I'm just driving and like not thinking, you know, when you're like just driving and like subconsciously thinking about stuff, I'll even go to the apartment that I lived at on 9th Street and see, look, I'm doing it. <laughs> Ain't that some Ain't that funny, huh? Ain't that funny? So yeah, I just did it again. But that's okay because I can get to the old, the other apartment from here. But sometimes I even go to 9th Street. Go back to the ghetto where I came from, huh? And Jorge's words. Back to that ghetto where I came from. So guys, I just woke up and took a shower. Um, and there was a spider hanging from the ceiling right after I got out of the shower. I'm like, let me stay out of the way of that. <sighs> so Amora just woke up not too long ago. She's right here. Say hi. Amora, say hi to the vlog. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Can you wave? Can you wave to everybody? <laughs> you want to go for a ride? You want to get in there and go for a ride? Yeah? Okay. We go for a ride. <laughs> really? Okay, so guys, um, we came to Country Fair. We came to Country Fair, but they're closed. Sorry, I couldn't even speak there for a second. Uh, so we're gonna go to Get Go and then go back home because I'm still on my grind, okay? And I wanna get this apartment situated. Like, it's it's, it's getting there, guys. It's really getting there. I'm, I'm serious, okay? I'm serious this time. I know I keep saying that, but it's getting there. Uh, me and Amora slept good last night i wouldn't say the best but we definitely slept better last night than usual um well than lately um i definitely i i'm guys i guess i'm officially a morning person now so that's great um because that was always my biggest struggle was just getting going in the morning like that was my biggest biggest struggle like it would be so hard just to get up in the morning and now I don't have to worry about that like I'm literally so so thankful I want to cry about it like I'm so so thankful for that because when you have kids you have stuff to do you kind of have to get up in the morning <laughs> and like be on your game you can't be messing around so we're here with Amara and um oh my god I can yes I can do this so the reason that I re-recorded that little part was because, um, I don't know, for some reason I was just feeling uncomfortable with how I was speaking and for some reason I said I can't do this and I like quickly like corrected myself and said yes I can do this because like negative talk like that towards yourself is like absolutely like not good at all like that's actually like really like really bad so um if you ever catch yourself like doing that saying like you can't do something or you know what i mean that's impossible or this and that like don't say stuff like that like that that makes a big difference um and like i always knew that but i never really like actually lived by that and um you know jorge actually showed me how to be more confident in myself um, you know, cause I would be negative and he would tell me like, you know, oh, uh, you got to be more positive, blah, blah, blah. And like, sometimes I would get mad at him for being like that to me. But, you know, like looking back now, like I am glad that he like drilled that into my head because it is like an important thing to remember, I think. So Amora's having some breakfast. She's having some hash brown. Now I'm about to cut up this banana for her so she can have some banana guys i gotta go out and do some errands um i gotta take these papers to the school district to change my address i need toilet paper i need some stuff guys so yeah about to put them more in the car seat i'm at the school district 
I have to change. I have to change the address. Of, the address for the kids, and I have to come down here and fill out all this. So be in a bar. We're leaving the school district building right now. I had to fill out that that paperwork. It took a little bit of time because I had to do it for one for each child. So it took a minute. But now we are about to probably go check the PO box. I'm mad because my food stamps go on, didn't go on there today, and she said they were gonna. So. I don't know, I gotta figure that out. So guys, um, this is like literally right around the corner from my house. This is like a haunted house place. It's This place is awesome. And they just got that mural painted with that sign and stuff. Dope! And honestly, guys, I was just... Um, it's cool that they got that like um, mural and stuff like put up there because um, that place has been... That haunted house has been there for a long time. And um, like probably like 10 years or more. And they like... But they never really had any good, like, visible, like, signs or anything like that. Like, the signs was just not that good. And, um, and they had that whole side of that building. And I was just telling Jorge just a few months ago, um, I should, like, contact those people and, like, you know what I mean? But I, I don't, I would love to do a freaking mural, okay, guys? But I would need, um, stuff for that supplies equipment that's what i'm trying to say the word equipment okay guys i would need like everything i don't have anything to, to paint a mural <laughs> what the hell am i talking about but um i could paint a mural though i think i'm kind of good at painting i'm pretty good at painting you know what i mean i haven't painted in a while but i like it it's fun i did paint somewhat some kind of a mural before it wasn't really a full one but I, you know, I kind of did it just by, like, looking at pictures on my phone and, like, uh, like, drawing it out with a pencil and then, like, painting it, but that was at my ex's glass shop that he had, and he ended up getting raided and going to jail, and somebody bought that and, like, painted over it, so, but I still do have the pictures from it, but I could show you guys if you want to see. I could pop them in here. So, so, yeah, guys. But I was just telling Jorge, you know, they should, you know, I should, like, contact them and, like, put a mural up there. I wasn't in any, in any position to, but I'm like, yeah, they need a mural. And, look, they put a mural. So, good job. Good job, Eerie Abyss, because they needed that. They really did. They needed that level up. And that's what I'm about to do. All right, guys, let's check the P.O. box. All right, guys, we're checking the P.O. box for the first time. No, I forget which one it is. Hold on. I think it's this one. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, I got stuff in here, guys. This is exciting. So, guys, I freaking love you guys so much. This is so exciting. So, we, me and Amora just went... Oh, somebody's calling me again. Hold on. Okay, that was weird. That number just called me, like, three times in a row from Seattle, Washington. And... And then I went to go answer it because I'm like, okay, well, they're calling three times. So let me see. And then I answer it. And then first thing it says is there was a system error. Goodbye. What the heck is that supposed to mean? That's weird. So guys, thank you so much because you guys are so generous and so thoughtful um, sending us these gifts. And um, I'm excited to see what's in these two packages and um oh, which way am i going here this parking lot is confusing um but uh so me and amora are walking out of the post office in the box hold on me hold on okay well it made a noise it's not making it now but it started singing, um, it started singing the song. So, um, I think it's for Amora. Real quick, guys, I just wanted to check, um, to make sure I don't have any mail or anything up here. Okay, this guy. So, good thing I stopped. Amora, come see. Amora, come see. You want to come see what's in this box? What is that? What is in there? Whoa. Look at Amora. Let's see who this is from. Look. What is that? Baby earbuds? That is so cool. 
this stuff is from enjoy your gift i hope this helps with the cold approaching from alicia from texas oh thank you so much alicia enjoy your gift i enjoy your channel and i love how down to earth you are keep on keeping on as god as your back always from alicia from texas thank you so much alicia you are amazing how cute that was really really awesome look at this oh she's like um that's mine mom what is that what is that can i take the tag off here 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 it's just the tag that's all let's see what's in this one now what could it be this is from alicia too enjoy your gift these are to match with the outfits oh thank you so much alicia you are so sweet oh those are so pretty uh, I love those. thank you so much alicia oh that is really cute i love these don't do it do wow guys i feel so blessed and so lucky <laughs> She likes them. I think that opens up too. Look, I'm not gonna take them. Look, it opens. See? We Press it. Great pair. Whoa! <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> she definitely loves those. No, you leave that alone, girl. Aw, that'll keep you nice and busy, huh? <laughs> Let's get moving. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching our channel and watching our videos, and we will see you on the next one. All right, guys, bye.